Hey Calathon Band, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today we're going to work on the beats from your latest song. So the beat we're going to start with is the verse. So there's three different drum beats happening in the verse. Um, and each one sort of starts one at a time, and then once they're all in, they're all layering onto each other. So here's your first beat from the verse. So we're going to start with this repetitive pattern on the hi-hat. So you can hear how when I add the kicks and the snares in, it doesn't change the hi-hat pattern at all. We're just going to continue to keep that consistent. One E and two E and three E and four E and one E and two E and three E and four E and one E and two E and three E and four E and. And then the snares line up pretty much where you expect them to. Two, four, one E and two E and three E and four E and. So if we think about the beat just as. Just think about adding a kick right before um, you hit the snare or you're expecting to kick. So, a two, a three, a four. And so this is the second beat for the verse. So how we're going to want to play this beat is we're going to want to cross stick on the snare. That's where you lay the stick against the snare and you push it sort of towards the rim. So you get that sound. So here's how I'd break that down is I think about my hands alternating. So... Because the cross stick and the hi-hat are never going to happen at the same time. It's always going to be back and forth like that. And another way to think about it is even though you've got this repetitive pattern on the hi-hat, you remember have to lift off on the last beat. This is the third beat of the verse. So it goes... So to break that beat down, let's start with the hi-hat. So we're going to have the same consistent pattern on the hi-hat. We're going to go one and two and three and four and. And where those kicks are going to happen is kick, kick, chick. Kick, kick, kick. is so if we're just looking at the kicks and the snares from that beat it's gonna go one e a two a three and four and then when we add the hi-hat that's where it starts to come together you're gonna add one open hi-hat in there That beat is going to be the first beat that you hear during the chorus, and that goes through the entire chorus. The second beat you're going to hear in the chorus is... Let's break that beat down a little bit more, so let's play it a little slower. So we're going... Chick, hat, hat, boom, hat, hat, tom, hat, hat, chick, hat, hat, boom, hat, hat, tom. And that's where it ends. So that tom is really what's going to cue you to get the beat to start over again. So the third beat of the chorus is going to go like this. So, so we're hitting the crash and the snare together. So we're going crash, 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 boom, boom, crash, 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 So that last part is crash, 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 crash,
first beat of the bridge part. So if I slow it down a little bit, you can hear where all those snares and kicks sort of happen. I count it out loud. One and a two E and three and four and a one and a two E and three and four and so here's the second beat in the bridge. So looking at that beat a little bit more in depth, so we have this hi-hat stomp that's going progressively throughout the entire beat. So we're keeping time. So one, two, three, four. One. 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 When we're looking at the snare, we want to roll some of those parts. So when you're rolling, you just sort of want to push your stick into the snare or just sort of let it bounce. So hold the, the stick a little bit lighter so it has a chance to bounce sort of in your hand. I find that pushing it towards the snare and just having a little bit of a lighter, more loose grip is a lot easier to make um, your hits roll. So. So really awesome job guys. I hope you all are doing well, staying safe, um, and thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps.